Simplifying algebraic statements. This is a grade C level 7 topic. Um, this first one, w to the 6 times w to the 4, really we should know the rules for multiplying indices where we just, if we've got the same base, w and w, it could be a number or letter, it doesn't matter, we just add the power 6 plus 4 is w to the 10. If you're not sure why that is, think about w to the 6 as being um, written out completely, so you've got 6 w's multiplied by each other, and then you're multiplying that by w to the power of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so we've got 10 w's in total multiplied by each other, so that's w to the power of 10. Similarly with division, uh, sorry, yeah, with division, h to the power of 8, with division with the same base power, base, base numbers, um, we just take away the powers to get h to the power of 5, and I could write all those h's out and divide and cancel top and bottom to get the 5. But it's the same, same sort of rule for that, except when you divide and you subtract. Simplifying this statement, there are no pluses and minuses in here, so it's all multiplication divided by normal multiplication. So to start with, I would look at the numbers. 12 divided by 3 is just 4. Um, this x cancels with one of those x's, to just leave with an x on the bottom. And this y cubed cancels with that y cubed, just to leave it with 4 over x. There's nothing else left. To just see that a bit more clearly, if I write out 12 as 3 times 4, and then we've got times by x times by y cubed, uh, so that's all the parts written out completely. And on the bottom we've got 3 times x squared, which is x times x, times y cubed. And you can see that the 3's cancel. What's actually happening here is we're dividing top and bottom by 3 to leave a 1. We're dividing by x to leave a 1. We're dividing by a y to leave 1 top and bottom. And another 1. And then we divide by y again. So we end up with lots of 1s times by 4, which is 4. And lots of 1s times by this x, which is just x. And that's 2 marks.